Hello everyone! I thought I would put out this little bonus video to see if these Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus paints actually re-wet. So I live in Colorado. It's very dry here. I have a wood stove going with a fan back there all the time, at least in the winter, and a little electric heater under here. So basically, I'm telling you, it's super dry here. So I finished painting with these on Monday. Today is Wednesday, so these have been sitting... The cat just knocked over an entire box, which had boxes upon boxes on top of that. But you know what? He crawled in it, and he's happy now. So where was I? <laughs> I... Excuse you, don't eat that plastic. Hey, hey. So I finished painting with these on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Hopefully I'll get this video up for you today. We'll see. And let's see if they re-wet. They've had plenty of time to dry out. Like I said, it's super dry here in Colorado. So I think I'll just use my round size six. And granted, some of these have been mixed with other colors, but still we can kind of get an idea. The reason I am asking this question is because when I was painting with them, this Hansa Yellow Deep, Hansa Deep Yellow, I guess is what they officially call it, it did not re-wet for me when I was using them on Monday, and it had only been, I don't know, an hour that it had sat in the palette. So let's try it today. I'm just getting some water on my brush over here. Apparently I need more water. Yeah, see, this one kind of crumbles into little chunks. So that Hansa Deep Yellow just doesn't seem very happy about re-wetting. So let's see what it looks like out on the paper. I wonder, can I mix those chunks in and make them more paint-like? Eh, a little. Yeah, it looks bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, let's try a yellow ochre now. This one is re-wetting beautifully. No problems there. Good, that's nice. I was getting worried. This is permanent red, except I barely have any of it left. It's kind of mixed with some other colors. But it appears like it is going to re-wet just fine. That was, what was that? Alizarin Crimson, but I don't really have any of it left. What is left over on the top side of the palette right there is re-wetting, though. I wonder if that's Alizarin Crimson. Did I get some weird? I think it is a little bit. I think I accidentally dropped a drop there. Let's see. Might be mixed with a little... Indian red there, but I think that one's going to re-wet. I didn't think about like putting drops in these two days ago and letting them dry. I just saw the palette over there today and I'm like, you know what? I want to know. So we're just sharing that. Indian red re-wets fine. Let's try the Viridian green. Yeah, it's fine as well. Well, this is a huge relief, you guys, because I'm like, if you can't let them dry in the palette and reuse them, that's kind of a bummer because it's a little bit hard to tell how much paint you need to start with. So this is the cobalt blue. Oh, I forgot the sap green. I'll get that one in just a second. Cobalt blue. Oh, that one's beautiful. That one re-wet. When I was using it that day, I noticed that one and the paint's gray re-wet just fine. At least I was. that was my impression. Sap green. Yeah, it's re-wetting. Good, good. Wow, okay. But anyway, what I, I never finish my sentences when I'm talking to you guys, but... I was like, if you can't re-wet them, then it's just going to be a big waste of paint. But it looks like re-wetting is fine, except for that hands of deep yellow. Payne's gray, beautiful. What else do we have? This one is burnt sienna. And I wondered, because sometimes these burnt colors have a little, this one is more red tinted, but sometimes they have a little bit yellow in them, so I wondered if the yellow might be the problem, but this one's okay. There's a tiny bit of chunkiness, like, but barely in there. Yeah, I would say actually there's, yeah, there is. There's a tiny bit of chunky stuff in there, but the color is still working great. Like, the color in this one, re-wetting, completely obliterates itself. And I'm just using my Moleskin notebook because it's a super cheap notebook that I don't really fully enjoy painting in, so just basically a, my scrap notebook. Okay, so this one has very yellow tint to it. This is burnt umber and yep it's re-wetting really chunky and like not very pigmented so it's very similar to the Hansa Deep Yellow. So it's got to be something with their yellow pigment that they use. I still got color out of it. It worked a little better than the Hansa Deep Yellow itself probably because it's mixed with the other pigment to make the brown. But interesting and sepia. I don't have a I've got quite a bit up on the side. Sepia. Sepia looks like it's re-wetting okay. 
a tiniest, tiniest bit of chunky stuff in there, but barely. I just didn't have a lot of paint left in that one, so a little hard to tell. Okay, well, I would say the answer is mostly yes. And look, I'm using the Milwaukee inks all from my son. And then the rest are yes. Uh, this one is so-so. We'll put so-so on this one. And the rest are all yes. We'll put mostly yes. <laughs> all right, we should probably date this. What is the date? It's the fifth. Oh, it's my anniversary. It's not my wedding anniversary. It's the anniversary of our first date. And that was, oh my gosh, I have to do math now. 20, oops, three, 23 years ago. And we always go out to dinner. And we used to go out to dinner at the exact same place we went on our first date. But unfortunately, that place eventually closed, I don't know, probably five years ago. So we've had to find new places to eat. So I have to contact my husband and see if we're going out to eat tonight. I hope so. I would love to. I'm not coughing, and I don't have COVID, so we should be good to go out as long as I stay away from people. I don't want them to get this cold, whatever this is, but I have been tested negative. That's good. Okay, too much information there for you guys, but anyway, hydrus. Mostly re-wets. Just avoid that yellow. I'll be interested to see if the other yellow I ordered, I think that was the Hansa Yellow Light that I ordered, will re-wet, and I suspect it will. I think this is... Uh, I kept saying the yellow pigment, but I happen to wonder, I mean, it's definitely more orange, so we'll see. I'll let you guys know as I find out. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this super quick, completely unplanned video, but I saw this palette over there, and I'm like, I have got to know if these re-wet, so. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys next time. See you Friday. Bye-bye.